Welcome back to Make It Mental, everybody. What you're looking at right here is basically this guy right here, except I have two of them. Uh, this one happens to be set into mode two for older style receivers. I did make a video on how to set net into mode two. This one's most current, but there seems to be a, a problem. I just got through testing one vehicle with mode two. Works fine. Didn't have batteries for this one. Took the batteries out of this one, put it in here, turn it on, nothing happens. And as you can see right here, it is currently in the on position and it does have batteries in here. If you want to take apart your receiver, this happens to be a Fly Sky, right? It's rebranded for Red Cat Racing. There are several holes, right? There's a hole here, there's a hole here. Uh, there's a hole here. There's another one on the front here. It may be hard to see, or maybe it's hard for me to see, but there's a hole here. There's a hole here. There's one up here by the antenna. There's another one here. And there's another one back there, right? So you pop, pop off the grips. Get off. You're going to have to peel at least part of this sticker back. Maybe even slice it with a razor blade. Slice it with a razor blade right there if you have to. And you can separate it. And I've never had any problems with this transmitter before. I knew it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. More than likely, the cause of failure is the object that moves, which usually indicates the on off switch. Just like on a coffee pot. Your coffee pot quits working one day, it's probably because the on off switch quits working. Same with your TV or anything else. It's the thing that gets used the most, right? It's the on-off switch. And so I, I stuck a white piece of paper down here for you can see. So it's in, it's currently in the on position. And this can be with any transmitter you have. And in this particular case, these two closest together, I'm just going to bridge it with a screwdriver. You can see the light come on, right? So we get a defective, we have a defective on off switch. I'm not going to take the time to solder on an, a new on off switch. I'm just going to make a bridge between this terminal and this terminal. This one and this one. Alright, let's see if we can zoom that in a lot closer. Between this one right here and this one right here. Whatever one makes the light turn on. Alright, there it is. Horrible focus, I know. See, it, it, smartphones are not that smart, but that's all it is. So that just means I just simply got to pull out one or more batteries every time I'm done using the transmitter. Super easy fix for your transmitter as well. Have a good day.